Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins, and Mars is getting an awful lot of attention these days, what with the Curiosity's discovery of methane and organic compounds on the planet, and NASA's announcement of their manned mission to the planet, which is only one of several projects aimed at getting feet down on the surface. But, come on, Mars is only one of our neighbors. What about Venus? Are we just gonna forget about it because its surface is hot enough to melt lead? No. No, we are not. NASA has played maybe a little too much Bioshock Infinite because it's proposed a new project called HAVOC, or High Altitude Venus Operational Concept, to create what amounts to a floating city of Zeppelins that would live roughly 30 miles above the surface of the planet. Columbia, here we come. Aside from the obvious complications of, for example, building zeppelins and getting them to Venus, the project actually has some really promising ideas. While the surface of Venus may average 850 degrees Fahrenheit and have an atmosphere 90 times as dense as Earth's, the story changes a little 30 miles up. At that point, the pressure is equal to that of Earth's at sea level, and the temperature is a more manageable 165 degrees Fahrenheit. As a bonus, at that level, radiation is also about the same level we get on Earth, and it's much lower than what's expected on Mars. The project proposes the Zeppelins be powered by solar panels and carry equipment like landers that can be used to further study the planet, though they have to be stronger than anything used previously. The longest any probe has survived on Venus is 127 minutes, and that was Russia's Venera 13 back in 1982. So far, there are no plans to actually execute this mission since NASA has its hands full with Mars at the moment, but Hey, it's always good to look into the future, right? What do you think of this idea? Floating cities are pretty cool and all, but should we take it further and try and terraform the planet, or would that be more trouble than it's worth? Let us know in the comments. Remember, you get the best in video games, entertainment, and space right here. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel, and we'll keep you in the know.